on the 25th of December 2021, I saw a military tyrant who was looking for money but couldn't find any. He then went to the bank to get some. When he got back, myself, a woman and some other people stood before him. We stood in front of him forming a semicircle so he could see all of us at once. None of us were standing behind the other. The woman asked him if he was able to get any money or if he actually went to the bank. Immediately, he slapped her in the face with the back of his palm as she passed before him to stand on the other side. After witnessing this, I couldn't take it anymore. I knew something had to be done about this situation, so I retaliated. I took a stone and threw it at the glass of a structure built by the tyrant. The window broke and I took off. He began to chase. I tried to make it impossible to get tracked by him, making sure I wasn't caught. The whole idea was to scatter the system of oppression and wickedness he had going. In a subsequent dream, I saw that I stood before a cage. In the cage, I had my supplies, which were pairs of shorts and socks. I also saw that I had three very old hundred naira notes. I kept two of those notes in two pairs of socks and hid them in a shirt. The third hundred naira note was wet, so I wanted to get it dried so that I could have that in my pocket. The tyrant in the vision represents President Buhari's government. I stand representing the few believers that have stood against his tyranny before the Lord. When I was writing the vision, the Lord asked me, Who is on the hundred naira note? I checked to confirm and it was Chief Obafemi Awolowo. That Nera note became a legal tender in January 1973. This was 13 years after the independence. Between 1973 and 2023 is 50 years. And these 50 years speak of Jubilee, which is a period of restoration, equalization and redistribution. The Jubilee will also mark the return of Awolowo, the best president Nigeria never had. The first time I heard of Awolowo in my visions was on the 28th of February 2020. In that vision, I also saw the woman I spoke of earlier and the number 50. Between 2020 and 2023 is three years, hence the 300 Naira notes in the dream. This is to confirm what the Lord has been saying about Pastor Tunde Bakare becoming Nigeria's president in 2023. Leviticus chapter 25 beginning from verse 1. And the Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land which I give you, then the land shall keep a Sabbath to the Lord, and you shall consecrate the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you, and each of you shall return to his possessions, and each of you shall return to his family. For it is the jubilee, it shall be holy to you, you shall eat its produce from the field. In this year of jubilee, each of you shall return to his possession. And if you sell anything to your neighbor or buy from your neighbor's hand, you shall not oppress one another. Therefore, you shall not oppress one another, but you shall fear your God, for I am the Lord your God. Let us travail in prayers for the birth of a new Nigeria. The current happenings are birth pangs, which are a sign that Nigeria's restoration is very near. Give the Lord no rest until he establishes and makes Nigeria a praise in the earth. Amen.